right. I mean, it would take some time, but, but I bet I could figure it out. Huh. All this time I've been trying to develop something new and it's been staring me in the face for years. Oh man, that is so like me. Thank you for giving me that kick in the ass I needed to get going. As usual, you can thank my dear brother for that. At first, he made me deputy administrator. That went well, until I wouldn't cooperate with Owen Dexler and all of his thugs at Neon Security. Then he had me work with Valentina over at Xenofresh, helping with Aurora distribution, until she pinned the credit skimming scam on me. And now, here I am, chief technician at Jennerdine. I don't even know the first thing about electrical engineering. It feels you good to be in control for a change. I appreciate it when you're able. Please, drop some of that. I'm hurting just watching you. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. something kept you. I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne's systems. Well, yes. You didn't think your little foray into Genodyne would go completely undetected, did you? Oh, I will, with or without your help. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Normally, I might be inclined to accept such a generous offer, but in this case, I'm going to decline. You know why? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts, how to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Who is the charmer, Bayou? You don't have to worry about that in the least. You point me to our little mole, and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Brayson? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. Brayson's... He made a mistake. Go easy on him. He's your brother, for God's sake. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. 
Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Stay out of trouble or we'll have a problem. Talk. All over right. I appreciate. Oh, yes. Come back soon. You never know what we'll have for us. Sophistication in space. Ready to make your ultimate discovery? That's My mother wanted me to be a doctor. Be a waste. Then here I thought you. What can I get you today? Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you thing at the Astro Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. Well, I was hoping we'd celebrate your return with some drinks and a pile of Aurora. I was about to start partying early when Boone Morgan tipped me off that Bayou was on his way down with some neon security goons. I'm pretty sure I missed him by less than a minute. Left a ton of good stuff behind, damn it. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be nice to be so naive. That might help you sleep at night, but doesn't do me a hell of a lot of good. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash and I have no way to pay it all back. That's pretty cool of you to offer, but I know what he's gonna say. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me, he's not gonna be much help. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. 
Given the heat we've brought on her, it might be the right thing to do. I appreciate that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? How much uh, are you willing to part with? Well, it's a bit less than I was hoping for, but thanks all the same. At least you gave a crap enough to cut me in at all. Great. I bet money for a donut and a cup of joe is gonna be a big help. All right. I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Completely ruined? Nah. I was hoping it would stay on Jennerdine's mainframe for the long term, but hey, at least it's already fed me a huge amount of data. Nix really knows what he's doing, though he charged me about six months worth of earnings. With any luck, I'll be able to recoup my costs in no time. I hear things are heating up back at the key, so I might fire up my bird and head over to check things out. Rumor has it that Delgado has some solid info on the Crix's legacy story he's been hawking for the last few years. If there's even a chance that it's true, I want to be there when Shinya Voss starts splitting the loot, if you catch my meaning. Now, how did I know you were going to ask me that? Honestly, it doesn't matter if I believe that Crix's legacy exists or not. What's important is that I believe in Delgado. If the man thinks that chasing shadows is going to make us rich, then who the hell am I to judge, right? I mean, I'm not going to jump off a cliff for him or anything, but hey, he needs an extra ship at his side. He's got it. Put in a good word to Delgado for me, will ya? Can you get a moment? Can we talk? Can I get you something? Stow some of that. Just a suggestion.
All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Hooray! You got the conduction gizmo. You did exactly what we asked you to do. Good work, Pat on the head. Are you ignoring me or something? I just said there's an emergency. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! We need to find Cora and talk with her. She made it sound like his life or death. I guess it is. Do you have more books, or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My book allowance is all gone, and Dad won't get me more. So, books? Hey, uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. Oh, oh, oh. Dad, you've made the best friend ever. Well, now you've done it. Now you can get pestered about books nonstop. Yeah, a small price to pay for my education. Now the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Oh, no, no, no. Looks like it's cheese pizza from here on out. This is horrifying. Oh, well. Let me think. I have decided that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. I've, uh, got some stuff on my mind. When you have the time. Thanks for grabbing me. Cora wanted something, and I was hoping you could humor her. For me. Thank Cora. you for talking to me. Cora. I got so something what's so important that you needed us? Something's wrong with mom. Are you just figuring this out? No. She's in trouble. It's been too long since she's written me. Wait, you write each other? Focus. We need to find mom. You believe me, right? No, no, no. Listen, trust me. Lillian Hart is not in trouble. She eradicates trouble. That's her thing. This is not normal. I don't even know where she's stationed, Gumdrop. Dad. She's on Neon. I know this is a whopper of a favor to ask. But there will be no end to this until we see Lillian and clear this all up. Ugh, yeah, you too. Listen, I will not forget you doing this for me. Cora's just worried. Don't even get me started about the time she thought ghosts were in the reactor core. I was five, Dad. Five. Lillian will be at the Ranger outpost on Neon. That's Jalen uh, Price's office. So, if she's out, he should be able to help. It should be easy. Cora sees Lillian, everything will be back to normal.
All hell's breaking loose. Oh, it's bad. Now get... Settled systems on the run someday. We need to find Cora and All hell's breaking. Oh, it's bad. Now get your... Read any good books lately? Did I hear a uh, Have snoring? any new books for me? Oh, my day just got a whole lot brighter. Of history here. No, I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Yeah. So there I am. You feel right protected? I'm sure, I got something to. Hi. I'm here if you need me. All right. Make it. All right. Let's get. This better be for Behold. Whatever. I 
and you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart, and you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Nothing you need to worry about. Stay in your own space lane and let Jazz do her damn job. Now, do you have what we sent you to Neon for, or not? Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sistef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. I have a very reliable source at Mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. When do we get our own lackeys to do everything in creation while we lay back and watch SSNN? Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the legacy, and bring us the cash. Nothing around here is simple. Del's right. You have to follow these steps carefully, or don't bother coming back. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption, so bring it back here right away. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. The toughest nut to crack is if you see Sistef brings in the vigilance. That Commander Ikande has himself a hell of a ship there. Advanced shield tech, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and Grix's legacy. The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal, a principle that Grix sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs on the side, killing each other. Bringing Crix's legacy back to the fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Crix believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course, it wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal. But I think you catch my meaning. You've met some of them already. Matis Castillo, Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Camp. They might feel like independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet, and each one of them wants a cut of the wealth. I am sending word out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. Come, come back in a moment, Briggs's can legacy. we talk? Or don't come back at all. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. It's 
Sure, sure. Let me punch that up, and we can have at it. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so... Not a problem. And I need your cash. I need to get those defensive batteries on. There are three defensive batteries. Basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield region. <laughs> Lucky you. The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Make us all proud. I need to get those defensive... Not a problem. I'd love to take your money. I bet you would. I'm busy, make it quick. you came here voluntarily. Uh, when that time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Rick? I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make... Not a problem. Sounds like fun.
fleet protects our own. Death Marines are the best. All support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their CEOs over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? I've received the reports about that stunt you pulled inside of Jenada. Opening fire inside a civilian facility. Are you out of your mind? Jenardine is furious at us right now. They want Commander Ikande to resign. You search for more options, and when those fail, you search for even more. Anything that prevents you from drawing that weapon. The only reason you should be opening fire on anyone is in the defense of your own life. You always have a choice. People have died because you were too stubborn to find a safer solution. This is not how you see SysDev operates. I don't care if we're one step away from Crix's legacy. If you do it again, you're off this operation, and I'll have Top throw you in the brig. It'll be my pleasure, sir. All right. I think we're all in agreement here. So let's get back to the operation at hand. It's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. That's the only course of action. There's no scenario here where the fleet will be allowed to continue. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, you see Sysdev won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. So we have to clean up your mess again. I swear, if we sent a team of rangers, we could deal with all of this once and for all. Unfortunately, I don't think the Freestar Collective would be willing to provide resources to anything related to the United Colonies. I'm pretty sure you're joking, but just in case you're fishing for what I'd say, I can tell you this. That money doesn't belong to you, or the Crimson Fleet, or even UC Sysdev. It was for war reparations and belongs to the people. Allowing Delgado to get Crix's legacy, or keeping it for yourself, would have extremely serious repercussions. I've always known that when it came down to it, You'd do the right thing. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, 
We'll begin the attack. Good luck. Our directive is simple. We are tasked with the eradication of space piracy in the settled systems. As the chief source of pirate activity, the Crimson Fleet is our primary target. While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do. But remember why you're out there in the first place. It's time to dig deep and get the job done. through is a victory in my book. A pet. We live on a starship, Cora. Pets and starships don't always mix. Aw, oh, come on, please. I need somebody to talk to while I'm on the ship by myself. Looks like this place has seen better days. If you're ever in new Atlantis, I'd be of service. I'm putting in a good I hope we have what I don't think my message is you. I hope we have what you
Just can't stay away, huh? Neva, sit down, have a drink. So, smooth jump into the soul system? You see security hassle you? Cut the crap, Adlin, let's make this quick. There's only so long I can stand a stink of minor sweat and stale beer. Okay, okay, take it easy. Here's the fleet's kickback, just like I promised. What is this bullshit? This is half. Half of what you promised. No reason to get upset, sweetie. Security around Sidonia's been cracking down, and it's tough to get the demo smocks to play ball. That means I'm spending big on bribes, covering lost shipments. This isn't exactly like running a pharmacy out here, you know. Two things, Adler. And I will make this simple enough so even a total imbecile like yourself can understand. One, I don't give a damn about your excuses. You owe us the agreed amount on time every month. And two, you call me sweetie ever again. And I'll shove my knife so far up your ass that people will mistake you for a unicorn. I, uh, okay. Sorry, Neva. I'll make it work. Here's the rest. That's more like it. I'll see you in a month.
Yeah. Need a drink? Bog at the last Nova will be more than happy to take your credits. First time visiting the infirmary, huh? Let me give you a piece of advice. Try not to get into too many bar fights. I'm trying to save my dwindling supplies for sale and pirates coming in off of raids. I've done my time, but thanks to a malpractice suit, I've officially dropped the doctor title. Don't let that worry you. I'm still just as good, if not better, than half the surgeons at the clinic. <laughs> That's what they all say, until they stumble in bleeding out on my floor. So here's what's what. You need med packs, curatives, preventatives, I've got you covered. At least as long as my current supply holds out. You need enhancers, legal or illegal? I've got those too. Hopefully that won't be often. Now if you don't need anything else, I've got a particularly annoying supply issue to deal with. You'd think most of the injuries I treat are from run-ins with security or civilians taking a stand. But I'd say at least half are just life on the key. Brawls, egos, and plain old stupidity. At least it keeps me busy. Now there's an offer I didn't expect. If you really want to help, I'm looking for someone who can handle themselves in a public setting. As in someone who knows how to get the job done without shooting up the place. Well, you'd be one of the first. I politely requested a list of supplies from Gennady Aiton at the clinic and was told the price of business has gone up. I think he's back on Aurora and he's upcharging me to pay for it. And if there's one thing I'm not going to do is subsidize his habit. I want you to make sure he delivers my supplies for the price we agreed on, but without raising any alarms. We'll see. Talk is one thing, actions are another. Be careful. I don't have any supplies. Time for a quick chat. I'd appreciate it when you're able. Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around.
pressure normalized and we're docked. How you doing, sweet pea? Well, I'm okay. But I be a lot better if If people would stop poking their noses into every un Wouldn't mind getting assigned to one of those research programs. I hear the pay is better. Is there something I can help you with? You look a bit lost. Damn. You're fleet, aren't you? Oh, I should have known she'd send someone. Look, the price of goods here has gone up. Doubled. Tripled, even. Did she not even consider a cheaper supplier? She really should. I know we had a deal, but the fleet don't like paying a premium. I was hoping she'd take the hint and find another supplier. It's just, I hear about people getting treated or dying all the time due to run-ins with the fleet. How does it all shake out in the end, I don't know. Either way, it seems like I end up with lives on my conscience. Yeah? Advice from the fleet? I doubt it. Not happening. This job is my life. I'd hate to risk it. I think you've convinced me. Still, I can't believe I made a deal with the Crimson Fleet. I've stashed the supplies in the storage closet just around the hall. Here's the key. Just try not to let anyone see you. I want to keep this as under the radar as possible. Dr. Cartwright in Aquila City said I was crazy when I was Another day, another shift. We should be getting hazard pay. Cannot believe I'm. Can we get a moment? Can we talk? Is Mina seeing anyone right now? Yeah. Always listen to the words. Need something? If Gennady doesn't come through with those supplies, we're screwed. At least until Shinya pinpoints a shipment. Tell me you've got those supplies from Gennady. I'm on the last of my medpacks here. Everything's accounted for. No damage. I'm impressed. I might have to make this a regular thing. At least it's one way to get guaranteed supplies. I only need to determine Gennady's limits. I'd hate to break him. And he'd love every minute of it, right? 
Well, I'll arrange your payment so you can get out of here. I appreciate the help. Trust is free. To the good guys, right? Please don't. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind. When you have the time. How's the pirating business? I don't know about you. No, I don't. But I do know the previous occupants of that interrogation chair you were sitting in. Not good people, to say the least. I think one of them even strangled a man with his teeth. But if Commander Ikande says you're Sistef, then you are one of us. For now. You guessed it. In fact, I'd say you've got what linguistic experts call FOGO. A firm grasp of the obvious. But I'm not just any pilot. I'm the best. And I've got the kills to prove it. I like your confidence. And there's always room in the squad for another Apex Predator. Just be sure you know whose side you're on. Later, Gator. I saw one of the Ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Patrol. United Colony System Defense. At your service. the siren of the stars i was on welcome to the brief as a personal that means excellent so if you no look this is probable you can chat with me really i almost and how many times but all that i was afraid of truth be told and weather, which is why I'd like. 
As a matter of fact, I understand that part of your undercover. While you're there, if you find... It's not. I appreciate. I'm interested in anything he had to say. If you find it, he's a good man. I can tell you as, as you were.